Good morning, and welcome to WWDC. Our new release is iOS 15. It's packed with features that make the iOS experience adapt to and complement the way you use iPhone. FaceTime is a standout. We're introducing portrait mode, where we've taken inspiration from iPhone's stunning portrait photos. In FaceTime, portrait mode blurs the background and naturally puts the focus on you. We've created FaceTime links. Now you can generate a link for a FaceTime call and share it anywhere. And it's not just Apple devices that can use a FaceTime link to join your call. Your friends with Android and Windows devices can use your FaceTime link to join the call right from their browser. And even on the web, FaceTime calls are still end-to-end -end encrypted, so your privacy is never compromised. We love enjoying shared experiences, and so we built SharePlay. With SharePlay, you can bring that album right into the conversation. When you're on a call, all you need to do is press play in Apple Music, and you can choose to listen together. And like magic, high quality music playback will start in sync for everyone on the call. And you're still connected with FaceTime while listening. When you're on a FaceTime call, jump to a streaming app and press play. And boom, you and your friends are watching the same video totally in sync. SharePlay is designed to work with your other favorite apps and streaming services. And today, we're so pleased to announce that we're already working with some incredible partners. Watch blockbuster movies with your friends on Disney Plus and hit TV shows on Hulu. Catch originals from HBO Max and see your friends react live to a buzzer beater in the NBA app. Let's get started with a feature we call Live Text. Let's say I just finished a meeting with the team and I wanna capture my notes from the whiteboard. I can now just point the camera at the whiteboard, and an indicator appears here in the lower right. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. I can use my normal text selection gestures, just drag and copy. And now I can switch over to mail and paste those in, and then send this off to Tim. How cool is that? And this is great for photos already in your photo library and it understands seven languages, including simplified and traditional Chinese, and works across iPhone, iPad, and Mac. With the Apple Wallet app, we set out to replace your physical wallet. With iOS 15, we're bringing keys for your everyday places to wallet. Starting with where you live, we're creating the fastest, most secure way to unlock your house, apartment, or flat. And where you work, just add your corporate badge and tap to enter your building or office. However, to be fully free of your physical wallet, there's one more thing we need to bring to iPhone, and that's your ID. So we're bringing identity cards to Apple Wallet. This fall, you'll just scan your driver's license or state ID in participating US states. It's that easy. Your ID information is now in Wallet, encrypted, and safely stored in the secure element, the same hardware technology that makes Apple Pay private and secure. And the TSA is working to enable airport security checkpoints as the first place you can use your digital ID. When you present your ID, you'll know what specific information is requested and securely presented. With just a tap, you're off to your flight. Our goal has always been to build the world's best map. But in iOS 15, maps will offer incredible new details for commercial districts, marinas, buildings, and so much more. We've added things like elevation, new road colors and labels, as well as hundreds of custom design landmarks for places like Coit Tower and the Golden Gate Bridge. And we built a beautiful new nighttime mode with a moonlit glow. And when driving on highways, Maps now renders overlapping complex interchanges in three-dimensional space, making it much easier to see upcoming traffic conditions or to know which lane you need to be in. And of course, we'll be bringing this driving experience to CarPlay later this year. And if you've ever exited a station, unsure of which direction you need to go, Maps will help get you back on track. Simply hold up your iPhone, scan the buildings in the area, and Maps will generate a highly accurate position, delivering detailed directions and augmented reality to help you complete your journey. 
With their annual vision quest postponed, our merry band of nomadic neighbors wandered aimlessly through the California hills before donning their technicolored wetsuits and immersing themselves in the inspiration of the beautiful rich waters of Monterey. Mac OS Monterey gives you the power to accomplish more than ever and helps you work fluidly across all of your devices. The incredible features we talked about earlier are going to be great for the ways you work on Mac, like the new capabilities in FaceTime, which help you look and sound your best while talking to coworkers or friends. With SharePlay, it's just plain awesome to watch movies and shows together on your stunning Mac display, or share an app window as you collaborate on a project. Shared with you offers a totally new way to discover photos, articles, and more that people share with you over messages right in your Mac apps. This year, we've created a completely new way to work across your devices with greater precision and speed, and we call it universal control. I'm putting the finishing touches on an illustration here on my iPad. It's the last piece I need to finish a presentation that I have open on my MacBook. Now, I'll just set my iPad down next to my Mac. And check this out. Without any other setup, I'm gonna simply move my Mac cursor towards my iPad and the iPad automatically recognizes it. And if I move a bit further, boom, my cursor is now on the iPad. How cool is that? For our pros out there, universal control works with more than two devices. So let's add this iMac into the mix. Now I can use the trackpad on my MacBook to control my iMac as well. I can also switch to use my iMac's keyboard and mouse. And this is so cool. Watch this. Now I have a title text image I've been working on here in Procreate on my iPad. Now I'm gonna take this image and drag it across all three devices and drop it in to Final Cut. Just like that. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered. So we've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight. And there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. They allow you to easily save and manage your tabs without cluttering up your tab bar. Let's start with Safari's gorgeous new tab design. All of my tabs are right here in the new streamlined tab bar. One of the really cool things that we did this year is we built the search field right into the active tab. Safari is more space efficient than ever, and I can see more of the page. I can click on the active tab to see the page's full address, and then I can search right from here. Reader is in the tab bar whenever I need it, and everything else is right here in the More menu. Check this out. As I switch tabs, the tab bar takes on the color of the site that I'm viewing, so it feels like a part of the page. It looks beautiful. Tab groups are an easy and lightweight way to save your tabs and pick them back up later. I'll open the new redesign sidebar, and I have a few tab groups here already. Each of these groups is a whole set of tabs. I use them for meal planning, for news, and for gift shopping. With iOS 15, we have some great new features coming to AirPods. Starting with Conversation Boost, which is designed to help people with mild hearing challenges stay more connected in conversations. Through computational audio and beamforming microphones, Conversation Boost focuses your AirPods Pro on the person talking in front of you, making it easier to hear and follow along in a face-to-face -face conversation. And to help you hear the conversation even better, you can also reduce the amount of ambient noise. Next, we have significantly improved how AirPods work in Find My. With iOS 15, you can locate your AirPods Pro and AirPods Max using the Find My network. Your AirPods simply send out a secure Bluetooth beacon that can be detected by other Apple devices. They can relay your AirPods location to the network and then back to your Find My app. And if they're nearby, just choose Play Sound. Listen for the chirp, whether they're in their case or out. And the new proximity view in the Find My app lets you know when you're getting close. To make it even less likely to lose your AirPods, you can now receive a separation alert to notify you if you leave your AirPods behind. With iPadOS 15, we're taking this versatility further, making iPad even more capable and more intuitive. And we started right on the home screen with widgets. They offer beautiful, glanceable information at just the right moments. And this year, we have a big update. Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. Here I am on the home screen. 
You can see that I already have a few widgets placed along the top. Let's start by adding a widget. I'll bring up the widget gallery. Here, you'll notice some new widgets, like the beautiful new Find My widget and the Contacts widget, which helps you reach family and friends with just a tap. Let's find a good spot for this towards the top here. Now, of course, a bigger canvas means more room for widgets. So we're adding a new larger format for widgets designed just for iPad's larger display. Here's the new Apple TV widget. I can easily dive into my favorite shows with a tap. And here's my gaming page. And we brought the same ease of multitasking to apps with multiple windows. In Mail, I can touch and hold on this message to open it centered on my screen. But I want to save this email and come back to it later. So I can just swipe down to minimize it into a new area we're calling the shelf. The shelf gives me easy access to all open windows of an app. Let's go to Safari, and you'll see that the shelf appears automatically when I switch apps. I often have a lot of Safari windows open many in split view paired with other apps. And now I can just tap to quickly switch between them. I can also add or remove windows right here from the shelf. And we've made the app switcher even more powerful. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. 